Hey peeps, I was planning on going to bed, but then I got bugged. Bugged. And bugged. And bugged. I have friends play this game, because you know I don't have anything important to do tomorrow. No, no, I have no life. Who has a life for YouTube to concern? Yeah, I've already saw them. Good. Caution is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public, or maybe not. You're warned. Musical pieces and sound effects of off created by Alice Conrad Coldwood are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Book name. Ah, and a surgeon? Yes. That's a tough question. Alright, welcome, surgeon. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. Pretty creepy look. The Batter has an important mission to be sure it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Off. Oh. Holy crap! To move my body, use the arrow keys in your keyboard. To interact with your vibrant, use the spacebar or enter key. Ooh, look at me go! Woo! Up here! Get to the next area. Whoa, that messes with your eyes. Zone zero. Okay. Let's do this. What the hell? It's a foot attack! There can't be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I'll introduce myself. I am the Judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear Lucery Interlocutor. <laughs> I'm the Batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, however, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Surgeon. He can't talk to us. But I'm talking right now! <laughs> However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, it will be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear sir. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my service, you know. Everybody loves cats. Well, that's true, everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against the legs and turn the nice man. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. <laughs> Let's see, but what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? What's with all the big words? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide for this area. If that is of any help. Thanks. You're a cheerful fellow, Mr. Batter. Okay, we're going to house. Quite peculiar. Smart cookie, this one. The brick. This is the brick? It's possible, yeah. It's possible to get around this brick. Ah, it's Mr. Footy Tap! Let me confess I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. <laughs> Why you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. How would you not know? No, I don't want to know the answer. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. <laughs> This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this new air. I had in fact concluded that San Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. Poor Mr. Cat. You got lied to. However, there exist other zones in those territories. The risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? <laughs> Dun -dun 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 -dun. Purification of progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. That's boring. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, the opinion of a coward. I dehort the soldiers. <laughs> now it is time for the offensive. Choose attack! Select the batter, then choose attack. A new off. A new to off me with your bat. <laughs> you know, you'll utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I will take the risk of dying. Taking my secrets with me to the grave.
Excellent, dear sport of companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. So there's levels, okay. Very Final Fantasy. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will. iron will get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> But let us move on. If you are willing to, you may have noticed that when you choose attack for the first time, after you select the batter, a new window opens itself on the lower right hand side of the screen. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul struck against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have yet again the opportunity to flee. But remember solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. The luck ticket has been found. I found a luck ticket! Objects. Luck ticket. Impeccable. Your mastery of the battle border on brilliancy. Thank you, Mr. Cat. But there's one thing we have not yet addressed. I am of course talking about the competencies. They are generally in layman's terms special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. Now may induce a reassertion of health points, or may, in, may be in and of themselves. Powerful attacks. Weird wording. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competencies leads to a consumption of competence points. CP. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent, before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose confidence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. An odd appearing cryptic cat. An obvious. 300. Let's see, no weaknesses, resistances. Eh, 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 eh. You know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Note that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may be accidentally analyzed and aver adversary. Sorry, I'm tired. You have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all your opponents fall to zero. They could care of your help if you know if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing with that most <laughs> on this <laughs> cat. This is amazing! I'm loving this! Be that as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Holy shit, he moves fast for a cat! Go down steps. Go. Oh, it's a Pokemon arena. It's gonna fight Pokemon style and Yu Gi Oh! and all that sort of jazz. Oh, yes, to pass through here, you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one baby flabby in your tired cranium. <laughs> I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall, in some way or another. Quite peculiar. Six, 
Nice. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that puzzle game is fun. Aha, finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the sea. Did I just let him out to eat? All our brain works to say good day. Crunch, nom, nom, crunch. <laughs> okay, can I go down this way? Hey, I can go down this way. So, where the hell do I go now? So we'll just have to gank it up as we go. Okay, so one, four, four. Ah oh, shit. Oh bad. Boom boom. 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 Oh, okay, cool. Yay! We did it! We did it! I wouldn't have done it without your help. I doubt you remember the damn number one I did. <gasps> it's a chest! Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest. Here in like a student sport or friend. It is a cube. I'll ring midair, as you have likely noticed. <laughs> Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the content of bad taste that imposes on your fuel of its clash and colour. Defying any sensible course of plastic and What the shit? However, do not judge it too quickly because despite its critical criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirely of your health and confidence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to nothingness. The nothingness is a layer of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. Groovy! I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more popular than populous than this deserted island. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that you will grab. That will grab you. Okay. Do not worry. I think travel two travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually without a doubt. Ah, by the by, take this. This is an object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter the zone one. Now have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key. The video card has been found. I'm level 2! Yeah! Object. Video card. Competence. Right angle. Whip. Arrow bat. Health points and confidence points completely restored. Save game? Yes. Block one. Team me up, Scotty! What the shit? Zone zero. One. Enter zone one. Yes. Ooh, it's green. Again. Save again anyway. The hell of it. Dooba 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 dooba. This is actually a pretty interesting game. The elves. Train 1 is a really useful means of transport to get about zone 1. Oh, cheers. Please select your destination. Damien. Interesting choice of word. <gasps> I'm on a choo choo train! Oh, she's trying to 
22 hasn't been active for a long time. Ah, oh, poor 22. Damn it. Dun 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 Um, uh, a visitor? Dot dot dot. Hi, um, welcome to the smoke mines. Um, I know who you are. Are you an inspector? No, I'm the battle. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter, the impure spirits. Be some sort of prophet or perhaps a man of the leaf. Yeah, something like that. I, who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by soldier. Uh, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged here. Yeah, I'm going to explain your task. Ooh, pictures. Um, you're not. You're at the smoke mines of Damien. The southern part of zone one. Okay, that's not where I am now. Here we send workers in the deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Thanks to a variety of tools, we are able to put some of it into bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zone. Yay! Sharing! Is caring? Everybody gotta share. The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale so uh, uh, so we can live. Live on nicotine? Okay! <laughs> That's the first of four elements, it's an important element. We move this long, this sort of long cutscene crap really pours. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. A bit of oxygen. Uh, there we are. And so, finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Ah, uh, yes, there we go. There are many spectres in the mines. They are becoming more and more aggressive. But uh, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines because because the regulations forbid visitors to access them. So uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there some time ago. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. And he saw something strange. He said nothing like the usual. So I thought maybe it's the chief inspector. Uh, so, there's your task, if you accept, you'll go into the Annex Tunnel and kill the Chief Inspector. Then the Spectres will disappear, and we can work with me again! Yay! There we go, there we, uh, do you have any questions? No. Oh great, impeccable. I am impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. Ah, oh, cheers, dude. Nothing wrong with that. You got a save box in your house, man? Soon I'll be promoted, I'll be a supervisor in Alma. I'm anxious for that day to arrive. This is a really, actually interesting game. I'm kind of happy my friend bugged the crap out of me. Well, I'll be damned. Well, well, who do we have here? Is that not Sojin and his particular jumping jack the batter? Are you Spectre's leader? Uh, no, certainly not. I am only passing through. Unlike the smoke which has been extracted from this pale metallic place. However, I believe I know where the one you are taking, you are taking for an ataclasm can be found. To tell the truth, I'm perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar objects called a spherical add-on. I very well tried to approach it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I'm thinking, maybe you, one who does not have a physical order, will succeed in affiliating this virtual entity to yours. Quite so. Let's go, because stepping in a teleporter never screwed anyone's day up. Add-on Alpha has joined you. What? What an exceptional, intriguing phenomenon. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. What the fuck is it with this cat and big goddamn words? Fair enough. Since there's decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best use as possible of it. Got it. Chief Inspector isn't here. Sorry, but I feel I have to respond in the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this leer. Who the hell is a leer? 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 Oh, leer. Maybe it's like a French cat. He could very well be a French cat. Ah, uh, you're back, so you killed the, uh, the chief inspectors? No, he wasn't there. Oh, re really? I bugger. Crap! I will then, uh, I believe that I'll have to let you enter in the main quarters then. Um, regulations oppose it. Alright, uh, I, I suppose this is a very special case. As stated in paragraph 5 of applegash.b. So, uh, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. Ah, oh, cheers, man. Is there a save box around here? I could really go for a save box. There are phantasms down there that are keeping us from working properly. And that's break time for me anyways. Oh, good for you, buddy. I'm gonna go down there and beat the crap out of them. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? No, I'm your worst fucking nightmare. 
Oh, this is some badass looking phantasm. The lamp sign always working in dormant corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. Oh, right. Oh, say box. Is that say box? Say box, say box, say box. Show yourselves, corrupt the children, I'm the voice of forgiveness that eliminate your calamitous forms. Holy shit, I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, good on you, loud mouth. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. It's like a boomerang. Music run. Ah, oh, so amazing. Ah, uh, no, no, oh, no, they're kicking the crap out of me. Damn it, die, die. Come in, attack, kill, main, destroy. Kill me. Load faster. You need more speed, bros. You're slow, bad You know that. Oh no, they're gonna kill my hula hoop! Not Mr. Hula Hoop! It's a hula hoop. A one just adversaries purified. 400 experience one book. 80 credits received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received. I'm so lucky! Dot dot dot. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. <laughs> Let's purify the other galleries. Your points, confidence points completely restored. The alley blocks don't allow you to return to nothingness. Save game. Oh, I'm still on level 2. Nearly there though. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to stop this episode here because I don't actually need to get to sleep. Got a lot to do tomorrow. Um, all the comments are in the... All the comments. Sleep. Sleep needed. All the links are in the description. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this one alongside I'm putting Slender Man and Why Not Spreading the Hole because my Slender Man seems to be bugging every time I play it and I just cannot be the third one. So I'm just going to push it to the side for a little bit, take a break from it and then go back to it. So for now I'll just be concentrating on off and amnesia and any small little quick games I come across. But I hope you peepees just enjoyed watching and I've done about you but this game is actually kind of cool. Especially hitting an innocent cat with my back flexes. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.